What's up guys, a little early Sunday break. Not used to these going overnight. Gives me anxiety when breaks run overnight, I don't know why. I also don't know how groups, and I, this isn't a knock against anyone, I, uh, I can't do more than one break at one time. It, it just drives me crazy to have multiple breaks and payments and things coming in. Maybe it's OCD, I, I don't know. I can't. It gives me anxiety. I like to close one, open the next one. But uh, maybe that's just me. No, oh, it's about not just me. I know it's just me. Anyway. But yeah, that's why someone's like, well, just put more than one up. And I'm like, I, I've done that a few times. And I don't know what it is. It just throws my whole day. <laughs> throws my whole day off for for some odd reason. Um, and then the one other thing is, is the payments are hard because you can't put notes on anything. I mean, even goods and services, they're shutting down for notes. You know, so then you got payments coming in from different, and then it gets confusing. And then some people get offended when you courtesy them and they, they already paid. I don't know why. It's not like I'm accusing someone. I, had, I think I had one guy leave the group a while ago. He had a combined a payment, which I don't mind if guys do, because I know some guys pay off their cards, like their credit cards, and get charged if they do it for each time they do it or whatever. So no big deal, but I didn't realize he had done it. He got, got all pissed and took it as like I was trying to embarrass him or, or some nonsense. I really don't know what he what he was mad about. I think he just wanted to be mad at someone that day. All right, looks like we got, oh, I thought we had more than this one. Looks like we got five on, but we got 18 on the break. But I guess we'll go ahead and get it done. Yeah, it was a while ago. There's Ricky. It was a while ago. I don't even remember who it was. Some whiny bitch. I don't remember. All right, real quick, shameless plug, guys, because I am all about the shameless plugs. Uh, we're gonna, we haven't done a box of these yet. We're gonna do a box this afternoon. Two on card autos. Um, so some Gypsy Queen baseball, a little change up. Um, and then me, and, that'll be a later break. Me and the boys are supposed to go to the national today, but uh, it's up in Chicago, and with all the traveling and with Kyson, I mean. We're kind of debating whether it's a good idea. And that, that's not saying that the world's ending again, but we got to be kind of on a different level of careful with Kyson. So we're kind of debating after seeing kind of the nonsensical stuff going on there. If we're going to go, um, plan is still to go, but if we don't go, I'm still going to take them and do something today because I'm doing a two-week side job starting tomorrow, so I will not be home basically till late for a couple weeks and school's getting ready to start their football's cranking up so time's running low on doing stuff all right let's go ahead and get it luminance you guys know the deal for the most part unless you're new four hits three autos and a patch generally because you know we never guarantee panini generally it's one on card auto the year ones different color ink Everyone's getting right with the Lord. Yeah, I, I thought we were done with this. Now I, I really don't. I don't even think we're going to be back in school, and that's not going to be up to any state or any school district. Because what uh, I, from what I understand, what the union is doing is they're going to the insurance companies, and if you want to make people shut up in a hurry, tell them they're not covered on insurance. So what's going on right now is they're saying, if you go against the CDC recommendation then our insurance, your insurance will not cover. If someone gets sick and sues you, you're not covered. 
School districts aren't doing that. Whether it's right or wrong, I don't know. I am, like I said, my situation's way different than everyone else's, so I don't know how it would be if I was not in that situation. I don't know. I don't think there is a right or wrong answer. Anyhow, all right, here we go, guys. Good luck, everybody. Happy Sunday. We got Chris Godwin. We got my man. Let's slide the hit to the back. I like those. That's a cool card. It's going to be a house calls. There we go. A little better light. House call. Jalen Hurts. Although, is it going to be a house call Deshaun Watson? That's still what I'm hearing. It's going to be a house call Deshaun Watson. Then we got a Hunter Long going to the Dolphins. Jalen Darden going to the Buccaneers, your world champion Buccaneers. There's a kid uh, that played with my brother that we coached when he was little, uh, signed with the Buccaneers. He was on the Broncos. Mr. Jones. I think it's probably still too early for him to be asking for Brady Autos, though. Then we got Cornell Powell. Then we got another Roquan. Hey, thanks, Panini. Put two of the same guy in one pack. Awesome. Jamison Crowder. Drew Locke. Teddy Two Gloves backup Drew Locke. And then we got a numbered. Ooh, we got a vet on card auto. Hopefully we get two. All right, so actually I guess we should just show it because I'm going to have to pull the Kelsey off to sleeve it. That's a nice one. It's going to be a – that's not on card, though. Sorry, I thought it was. It's going to be a Chris Godwin vet auto out of 25. I like it. I like it. I like it. Is that a Wendy Deflamis? You got a nice stack of stuff here, too. You just haven't been able to pull that hit yet, Wendy, but you got that hit now. I know you're a Brady chaser, though. I don't blame you. I'd chase Brady, too. It's my man crush. But Chris Godwin, nice hit. Out of 25, too. Low numbered. I know you're chasing that Brady, but uh, Gibellino's a huge Bucks fan. Since it's not Brady, I don't know if you chase any other Bucks. All right, pack one down. Pack two. This feels like our other patch. I like Luminance. I am re I'm pissed off my gold standard hasn't shipped yet. Dropped a thousand bucks last week and it's still processing. Still processing. Absolute horseshit. I wanted to break that this weekend for you guys. By the time I get it, I'll have regular hobby. All right, we got Mahomes going flash. That's a cool looking car going to the Chiefs. We got Shy Smith going to the Panthers. Casey, I hope you got your free auto that I pulled out of a contender's box of that. Javion Hawkins going to the Falcons. Christian Barrymore going to the Patriots. That's a big old boy. That's a hanging belly right there. That's a big old boy. He's eating healthy. Baker Mayfield going to the Browns. Fletcher Cox going to the Eagles. Karen Rodgers. Yes, I'm calling him Karen Rodgers. Every card for the whole year. For the whole entire year. Karen Rodgers. Oh, that's a good number right there. Going to the Eagles. Couple good numbered in a row. That's going to be a Devontae Smith hit because it's out of 25. Going to the Eagles, I think. Is that Jimmy C? Picking up the dirty... Oh, they're not the dirty birds. That's the Falcons. I guess they're both dirty birds, though. But that's a nice one. Out of 25, Devontae Smith. The straw man. Marvin Harrison 2.0. That's my personal opinion. That means absolutely nothing. And then right behind that... Uh, I want to hide that hit a little longer. Then right behind that, we're going Tyreek Hill out of 99. Pretty nice box so far. Some good numbers. Some good numbers, and I like the Godwin auto. Mr. Franchise Tag Godwin. He's making like $18 million this year on the franchise tag. All right. And then the hit out of this pack. Not bad. Is it going to be Patch? Yep. Going to the Colts. Not bad. I think this is your sleeper pick for leading rusher in the NFL this year. Depending on what happens with Wentz and Eason and yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Who really knows? I'm hearing more this morning about the Wentz injury that it's just a couple-week injury. It's going to keep him out of the preseason. But people are like, well, he hasn't played with the Colts. He needs to learn the offense. It's the same offense he was running in Philadelphia. 
he probably will be fine. That's just my thoughts. I don't know if you guys saw in the group chat this morning, the... What's it called? Um, the people paying four fifty for a fucking Eason auto now. That auto literally went for eighty nine dollars a week ago. Now it's all of a sudden a four hundred and fifty dollar card. Get the fudge out of here! All right, third pack. Uh, there's our hit. Ooh, those are that's a nice looking one too. It's gonna be a lights out. I love the the inserts out of Luminance. They're so professional looking. And then we got Eric Stokes. Felipe Franks to the Falcons. Tyler Vaughn's, not Vaughn, Vaughn's uh, going to the Colts. Brandon Ayuk to the 49ers. That's a pretty cool picture. Why does my light seem so dim on video? It seems bright here. All right. Sorry, guys. Trying to. Ayuk to the 49ers. Mahomes again going to the Chiefs. Calvin Ridley, the new number one for Atlanta. Xavier Howard, who's requesting his trade, throwing a Karen Rogers temper tantrum. And then David Johnson, out of 75. Hide that hit. David Johnson out of 75 going to the Texans. The Texans have like 12 quarterbacks and 12 running backs. They got Mark Ingram, David Johnson. Hell, isn't Duke Johnson still there? I mean... Uh, they just keep signing dudes. They keep signing dudes that aren't very good. Hoping one of them's okay. Ooh, this is a sneaky one that I liked this year. I think this is going to be our year one. If Deshaun goes, I don't think Tyrod starts very long. I think this guy is ends up being your starter down in Houston. That's not a year one. It's going to be 100 out of 100 Davis Mills going to the Texans. 100 out of 100. The very last team left. I actually had them priced higher before because Mills is a uh, what's the end of the second round pick, I believe. And uh, but on this one, I think they were seven, but they were the very last team to Dan Vaca. That's one I stick in a box and see if he gets a shot. That's the Herbert for this year to me, not not J Jacob Eason. Davis Mills is the Herbert that might get a shot this year. Because Watson's going to go. I don't know when he's going to go and who he's going to go to. Sounds like the Eagles or Broncos, but um, I think Tyrod is is Tyrod. He's he's a five foot ten quarterback. At the end of the day, then we got Tyler Boyd, Miles Sanders. Let me let me slide that to the end. All right. And then we got Kenny Galladay in his new uniform for the G Men. Darren Waller. Second best tight end, uh, third maybe. I don't know. I think I argued that before. Brady White numbered out of 299. Ooh, the next one's a snazzy one. It's a dynamic and it's a rookie. Nice rookie insert. I don't know if I've seen him as a rookie. I've seen the dynamic cards. I don't know if I've seen it as an insert. All right, it's going to be Quiddy Pay. Or no, Kyle Pitt. Sorry, it was upside down. I can't read, guys. A teacher that can't read, that's pretty sad. That's actually even better. It's going to be a Kyle Pitts dynamic rookie going to the Falcons. I think I've only hit one auto of him. I still have not hit my Trevor Lawrence auto. Last year, by this time, I had pulled like six Herberts. I have not pulled my Trevor Lawrence auto yet this year. Very disappointed in that. All right. Erg. All right, Greg Rousseau going to the Bills. Elijah Molden, J.C. Horn to the Panthers, and then our year one is going to be Javion Hawkins. Purple on card. There's our year one. So we actually, that actually turned out to be a pretty good box. Two rookie autos, a good vet auto, a nice patch for the vet. Not a bad box. Let me check what that purple is real quick, if you guys don't mind, before I do the recap. I want to say purple's out of 50. Let me pull it up real quick for you guys. Because uh, I don't know if, for you guys that don't know, the color of the ink determines um, what it's numbered out of. 
and I cannot remember. And then going to the Falcons, and he may get a chance. Um, Luminance 2021. I think he's going to get a chance with uh, no one there anymore. Ish Smith is his, uh, is that who his, who his, uh, competition is? Parallels, where we at? Year one autos. Sorry, guys. Hope you guys don't mind, but guessing Eric Conley would like to know, but Eric might already know. Eric said more breaks than anybody I know, probably. Autographed jerseys, illuminated ink, NFT, portraits, year one. Green, purple, red. I'll have to look it up. It's not on this one. I'll have to go to the Beckett one. Anyway, let's get a recap then, guys. Sorry for the hold up there. I was hoping it's on the cardboard. It'll tell you. It. I think I want to say purple is 50 or less. I think blue is 99 or less. Purple is 50 or less. Red's lower. All right. So let's recap this. We got Davis Mills, QB, going to the Texans. Not bad. 100 out of 100. Devontae Smith hit out of 25. Chris Godwin, Vet Auto. Jonathan Taylor, Patch Auto, or Patch, now Auto on that. Dynamic Kyle Pitts. Brady White out of 299. David Johnson, 75. I'll get that in a hard sleeve. I don't know why I didn't stick this one in. I did because it's Mahomes. Mahomes anything is worth something. Tyreek out of 99. Kelsey out of 299. So three good Chiefs. And then the JV and Hawkins purple on card going to the Falcons and Eric Conley. All right, guys. So we got the Gypsy Queen going up at 1 Central Standard Time. If you're in a different time zone, thanks for the fill on this, guys. Congrats to our hitters, and I will catch up with you guys later. Enjoy your Sunday, gentlemen.